Right, 100 questions. One, who is your hero? Uh, well, I'm my own hero. If you could live anywhere, where would it be? I don't know, probably the UK. What is your biggest fear? Uh, I've drawn a blank on that one. Uh, biggest fear, I, I'd say that would just be like, I guess just, I don't know, maybe heights. My, heights might be one, yeah. What is your favourite family vacation? Uh, well, we don't really go on vacations. We only went on one vacation, but I'm not going to mention what it is here. What would you change about yourself if you could? Uh, I guess I should like have more patience and like actually put more effort into YouTube if I could change myself like that. What really makes you angry? Existence. Uh, what may it motivates you to work hard? If there was money on the end of a stick, yeah, that would be one. Uh, what is your favourite thing about your career? I, I don't really have a career, but if you count this or me being a student, uh, I guess just doing videos is my kind of thing. What's your biggest complaint about your job? Uh, I guess that like that I don't put in the effort to actually go somewhere with it. Uh, what is the proudest accomplishment? Uh, can't remember off the top of my head. I might put it on the screen. What is your child's proudest accomplishment? I don't have a child. What is your favourite book to read? I don't have a favourite book to read. What makes you laugh the most? Uh, when I'm with my mates and we do certain stupid stuff in games without thinking. Uh, what was the last movie you went to? What did you think? Uh, it was actually Avengers Endgame. It was absolutely lethal. Uh, what did you want to be when you were small? Uh, I wanted to be an author when I was younger. What does your child want to be? I don't have one. If you could choose to do anything for a day, what would it be? I don't know, just go out, go on a journey. If all expenses were already paid for, I'd just go around the world or something. I don't know, try a lot of food and drinks and stuff. What is your favourite game or sport to watch and play? I don't have one, but if I were to watch one, it would probably just be eSports, I guess. And plus, I play games, so, you know, kind of ties in. Uh, buh, 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 buh. Would you rather ride a bike, ride a horse, or dri drive a car? Uh, well, ride a bike and drive a car. I, I don't think like riding a horse. I do it like once and then that's it. But if I would own one, it'd probably be a car. Uh, what would you sing at car karaoke night? Uh, Mi takoto na yume no kido oikashi te. Yeah, Azora jumping heart. Um, cause I actually kind of know the lyrics at this point. Uh, what two radio stations do you listen to in the car the most? I don't listen to any radio stations, and I'm not mentioning the one I know off the top of my head. Which would you rather do? Wash dishes, mow the lawn, clean the bathroom, vacuum, uh, vacuum the house. If you could hire someone to help you, would it be with cleaning, cooking, or yard work? If I were to hire someone, uh, I guess it'd be cooking, cause I don't think I'm, I'd be good enough to cook by myself. If you could only eat one meal for the rest of your life, what would it be? Uh, I don't, I don't know. I, I, I'm just gonna say steak and macro mac and cheese, but like, I get sick of that probably easy. Who's your favorite author? I don't have any. Have you ever had a nickname? Yeah, it's Joe. Uh, do you like or dislike surprises? I, I like surprises, uh, especially when I lower my expectations. You know. Uh, what is it, or why or why not, uh, why I like surprises, is because it's something different in life, my life is just one straight thing, like, it's nice to have that thing, like, here's the surprise, boom, you know, just knock it off course and make it wave a bit, you know? Uh, buh, 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 buh. So, in the evening, would you rather play a game, visit a relative, watch a movie, or read? Uh, in the evening, I would rather play a game. Like a game on Xbox or PC. Would you rather uh, a vacation in Hawaii or Alaska? Uh, Hawaii is nice and warm. Be nice to just chill out there, you know, and not worry about stuff for a bit. Alaska, you have to worry about all the time. There's snow everywhere. And yeah, so on and so forth. Would you rather win the lottery or work at the perfect job? Perfect job. Because at least, like... Like, I know it's easy to just win the lottery and get the money, which I kind of like... But I also like the idea as well of getting the perfect job, getting the money you need from that and, you know, going from there. So, like, this, for example, would be my perfect job. 
And, like, if I could get enough money from that, I'd actually be more happier doing that. Because, like, I'm actually building up money. I'm earning this money myself, you know? Uh, who would you want to be stranded with a deserted island on? I don't know. Fucking PewDiePie. If money was no object, what would you do all day? I have no clue what you mean by that. If you could go back in time, what year would you travel back to? I would travel back to... There's a specific day. I can't remember. Um... Ah, fuck it, when I was 10, because, you know, I'm 20, go back, like, half my life and see, like, the difference and maybe talk a bit to my younger self. Uh, how would your friends describe you, dude? Uh, like, this is not me tooting my own horn, but in recent times, my friend is, friends have described me as, uh, like, kind, maybe not, maybe, okay, this might be a bit of a stretch, but kind, caring, uh, chill, I don't think, I think that's a good one, yeah, no, chill's a good one. Um, not calm, I wouldn't say. A decent guy, let's just say that. Uh, what are your hobbies? Making videos, playing games, and, uh, existing. What is your, the, eh, what is the best gift you've been given? The best gift I've been given... I can't think of off the top of my head, I might have to leave that in the thing as well. What is the worst gift you've received? I don't think I ever had a worst gift. Like, I, I'm not fucking, like, selfish, or not selfish, kind of, I'm not a little brat that's like, eh, I didn't want that, you know, that kind of shit, like. Aside from necessities, what one thing uh, could you not go a day without? Uh, what could I not go a day without? <sighs> Aside from necessities. Um, I, how could I not go... I don't know, fucking tissues, because, like, at least, my, my nose probably, like, drips at least once a day, like, there, there's no avoiding it, you know, like, I have the tissue box right there and all, like, uh, list two pet peeves, I have no clue what that means, uh, where do you see yourself in five years, probably, like, in the ground, to be honest, because this planet's just not going anywhere, and, like, I don't know where the fuck my life's going, so probably in the ground, yeah, how many pairs of shoes do you own, three, Te well, Technically two, but technically three as well. Uh, if you were a superhero, what superpowers would you have? Um, the super intelligence count, I guess. No, you know what? No, we'll go with proper like thing. Uh, superpower. Yeah, it's teleportation. Like as long as I know where I'm going and what I'm teleporting to, you know, it's grand. Like if I could look at a photo and be like, all right, so that's what that location looks like, and I want to put myself there. You know, that'd be grand. But if I'm just teleporting at random, whew, wouldn't be nice. Uh, buh, 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 buh. So, what would you do if you won the lottery? I'd probably give YouTube a break, if I'm being honest. I, I've been at YouTube now for a good while. I know, like, I haven't been the most consistent, but this year, like, I've been really, really consistent. And not only have I been consistent on Saturdays, I've also been uploading other days as well. So I think it'd be time for me to take a break, take a step back, and start thinking about, like, for one, is this money a lot that I'll do for my life? And two, do I want to do anything major with the money? And three, like, chill. <laughs> Just chill. Uh, what form of public transportation do you prefer? Air, boat, train, bus, car? Out of these ones, right, I've never been in an airplane. I've been on a boat twice in my life. I've never been on a train, and I've been on a bus, like, so much in a car. Um, what would I prefer? You see, I'd say car, but, like, you can get delayed, like, in traffic and shit with car. With a bus, same difference. And you have to be there on time. Trains, you have to be there on time, but it goes straight to things, so that's good. You know, yeah, train. Because I haven't been on a train yet, or even an airplane, like, just because I haven't been on them yet. But if I were to prefer one of them, sorry, it says prefer. Uh, so, boat, bus, and car. Just a car. Uh, what's your favorite zoo animal? Um, top of my head, I just thought of elephants, so I'm going to go with that. If you go back in time to change one thing, what would it be? Funnily enough, I would not change anything. I know that's such a bad response to this, and it says you can change anything. Now, this is assuming, right, if, like, if you change one thing, everything else changes. But if I could change uh, one thing and it doesn't change anything about now, is I would not have made the Nightflyer 
the Night Flyer podcast, well, I would probably have made the Night Flyer podcast, probably just be called Joe's Night Flyer's podcast. And, no, actually, I'll leave the second channel alone, because that's there as, like, a backup. I'd literally just have Joe's Night Flyer, and all these videos would already be there, and, you know, it would be a constant cycle. And I'd probably be, like, over, like, 70 subscribers by now, but no, I had to move to this channel. Uh, buh, 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 buh. So, if you could share a me, Oh, yeah, and by the way, the reason I say that is pretty much... I want to go back in time and not make these channels so I can have just the Joe Snow Flyer channel. There we go. If you could share a meal with any four individuals, living or dead, who would they be? Uh, <laughs> I don't know anybody dead off the top of my head. Uh, actually, no. So, Bob Ross. Um, Pyrocynical. Um, oh man, I don't know why I can't think. Uh, my my future girlfriend, I guess, and uh, living, living. I want to think of another one that's living. Um, I want to say that, but I get in trouble if I say that. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. I don't know, maybe just a random relative, boom, just throw it into the mix. How many pillows do you sleep with? There's, it's one pillow, but there's two in it, so technically two. Uh, what's the longest you've gone without sleep and why? Oh, what? oh no, Um, it was, tw I think it was 26 hours. Seven, to seven, no. Oh, wait, no, 7 to 9. So 24. 26 hours, I think. 26 or 27 hours. It was when we were going on a, a, a school trip to... Oh, it, was, it was Liverpool. We were going to Liverpool to see a football match. I just wanted to go to like England, if I'm being honest. That's really all there is to that. And why I didn't sleep is because... I just did, you know? I just wanted to stay awake for the whole thing. But I will admit, I almost, like, blacked out near the end of it. Because, like, we were getting late. And that's why I say, like, 7 to 7, then to 9. Because, like, we were really late getting back home. And, um, yeah, no. So that would be the longest I've stayed up. Almost slept on the thing, but I didn't really. Even if it was, like, 2 seconds, that doesn't count, alright? Like, I when I got home, I think, is it going to ask as long as... No, never mind. Um, I was good. It, like, if I was gonna ask, like, what's the longest I've been sleeping? I think it'd be that. No, it wouldn't be that day. But like that day is weird because I actually slept through the day, which is very unusual for me. And uh, what's the tallest building you've been to the top in? Oh, I swear, I've been. I've not really been in many top buildings. There's not really any high buildings around here. Honestly, I think like. Three or four floors up. Like, I, I don't think I've been that high before. Like, I'm not going to lie. And I don't know the building either, so... I'm just going to assume that. Would you rather trade intelligent for looks or looks for... Yeah, intelligence. I'd rather intelligent. I want to know, like... Shit better than looking good. And, like... I, I know... Oh, God. The camera's about to fall. <laughs> but, um... I, I know, like, with looks, you could probably... Never mind. I changed my answer. I want looks... Because, like, sure, I might have intelligence, but I have to hire people that are intelligent for me, and, like, I'd be able to actually get a following, because I'd actually reveal my face, like, <laughs> just, yeah. Uh, how often do you buy clothes? Not very often. It's like, I pretty much get them as, like, a birthday or a uh, Christmas gift. Uh, socks and underwear are different, though. They're just got at random times during the year. Have you ever had a secret admirer? I feel like I've had, but, like, that's a bit of a stretch, even for fucking me, like... Uh, what's your favourite holiday? I think this is already asked. What's the most daring thing you've ever done? I might leave it on screen if I uh, if can think of it. What was the last thing you recorded on TV? I don't record on TV. Uh, what's your... F uh, yeah. What was the last book you read? Oh, the last book I read? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, it's like... It was like about this, like this was back in English in secondary. It's about this like boy who could see like this tree or something move and talk to him and stuff at night. I can't remember the name of the book. It was it was okay. I actually liked it. 
I can't remember. If I could find it again, again, I'll put it on screen. Uh, so, what's your favourite type of foreign food? <sighs> foreign food, foreign food. I don't actually have any, no. Are you clean? I'm clean. I'm definitely a clean person. Like, there's sometimes I'll let myself get messy on purpose just because I'm so clean and organised sometimes. It's ridiculous. The only thing that isn't clean is the inside of this PC, like, with all the wires. Shh, don't tell anybody. Uh, who would you want to play you in a movie of your life? Huh. Bold to assume that there'd be a movie on my life, but... I'd like somebody just completely random, different, be just... Like, I want them to be, like, so bad. I want myself to be <laughs> betrayed just so bad. Like, I shouldn't even be the same, like, fucking ethnicity or race or anything like that. I should just be completely different, like... Completely different, even different gender, we'll go that far, like. So yeah, no, I, I don't know an exact person, but yeah. Uh, how long does it take you to get ready in the morning? It, 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 it depends, it's not like I have a schedule and I stick to it, like, I'm either up or I'm not up, like. Like, when I wake up, I'm like, oh yeah, grand, I'll just sleep in for a bit. Because usually I wait for everybody else to go downstairs first, and then I wake up myself and do my thing. And, uh, yeah, so... T like technically when I get out of bed it only takes me a few minutes but when I'm sleeping in bed it could be anywhere for like a few hours to like half an hour you know it just depends uh, what kitchen appliance do you use every day I'd say the fridge like realistically yeah the fridge well no yeah the fridge the fridge definitely the fridge because I take the, my, my bottle of water out every time from the fridge uh, what's your favourite fast food chain I don't know, like, there's a lot of them, let's say McDonald's, because that's the first that popped in the head. What's your favourite family recipe? Uh, buh, 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 buh. When we used to have uh, lasagna, like, that was pretty nice, I like that. Do you love or hate roller coasters? I've never been on one, but I like the, I, I like, I, I'd hate if anything went bad, but I'd love the actual thrill of going on one, you know? Uh, what's your favourite family tradition? I don't think we have one. What's your favourite childhood memory? My favourite childhood memory is... I don't know off the top of my head. If I have one again, on screen. What's your favourite movie? My favourite movie... I don't actually have one. I'm not going to lie. Again, I'll put it on screen if I do, but off the top of my head, I don't. How old were you when you learned Santa isn't real? How did you find out? I honestly can't remember. I think, like, just at one point... No, wait, no, no. I think I was like, here, man, dad, like, why, why did you just, like, just lie to me and say, like, Santa wasn't real? I was like, oh, it's because this, that, and I was like, oh, fine. But I can't remember the age. I think I just copped on to it, you know, with the amount of, like, jokes in films about Santa not being real. I was like, wait a minute, huh. You know, and so on and so forth. Uh, is your glass half full or half empty? Oh, this question was posed yesterday. I can't remember. I'm, I'm not intelligent, so I'm probably going to answer this wrong. So is your glass half full or half empty? It's half empty. I'm going to say that. What's the craziest thing you've done in the name of love? <laughs> I wrote a little letter. I think the few euro was a gift. I put it into the letter. I put it inside of her bag. I don't even know if it was her bag. But, I, th yep, that's it. <laughs> um, what three items would you take with you on a deserted island? I would take... Okay, Joe, completely off of technology. Just think about stuff you actually need to live. I take that science apparition, or not apparition, apparatus, uh, yoke that transfer, or makes, uh, like, this is assuming that this deserted island is also, like, really warm. Where you can put, like, salt water into this thing, and then eventually you can separate the salt from the water, and you can, you know, you can drink it. Um, I know it's not the cleanest form of water, but it's the only other water I'd get on a deserted island. Other than that, um, what would I take? I don't know. I guess a tent, so at least I feel like I can cozy into something. Even though it's warm, but, like, still. Just in case, like, the nights get a bit, like, chilly, you know? And the third thing, I guess, would just be company. Like, if there was a way, like, hmm. I don't know. I don't know, because I would say thing, like, taking a phone unless there's like a self-charging phone i take that you know but even then like i don't know um 
But then eventually something would run out in it. So for the third thing, I'm not too sure. Uh, what was your favourite subject in school? Oh, it was between his mm, history and geography. Oh, man. Like, I was going to literally say, ah, yeah, no, it's geography. Ah, no, yeah, it's history. Like, I'm fucking arguing in my head now of which one's the favourite. It's between them two because it was the same teacher and he taught them so well. Um, which one I did better in, though, was, I think it was history. Especially, like, when we were learning about the moon landing. Like, I scored, like, I think it was a 92 or a 98. On, like, when I wrote that moon landing essay. Like, I got so many details, like, pushed into my head. I just remembered at the time, like, a lot of stuff. But now if you tell me about it, I wouldn't really know it. So, yeah. But still, like, I love that so much. Then geography. There was just something so cool about geography as well, like. What's the most unusual thing you've ever eaten? Unusual thing I've ever eaten? I don't know. Do you collect anything? Um, am I a collector of anything? Uh, I don't know. I don't think I do. Right. Uh, this is the second last set of questions. I know we've been going for a while, but... Is there anything you wished would come back into fashion? I don't know. I don't really care, to be honest. Are you an introvert or an extrovert? I'm probably an in No, yeah, I am an introvert. I'd rather be an extrovert, though. Uh, which of these five senses would you say is your strongest? Um, da, 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 da. Hmm. I'd say probably sight. Yeah, I'd say my sight would probably be the strongest thing about me. Have you ever had a surprise party that was an actual surprise? Mm, no. Are you related or uh, distantly related to anyone famous? I don't know. I don't bother with that. Uh, what do you do to keep fit? I do a bunch of exercises every morning. I did, uh, I say keep fit, but realistically, it's meh. It just depends. I don't know. I just do it for my own sake. Uh, so, I do squats. I do push-ups, pull-ups. I do a thing where, like, I lay on my side. So, pretend it's, like, one leg on the ground. And I just raise the other leg up and down. And I switch around. And I do the same thing with this one. You know? Um, I also do the plank as well for like a bit as well. Yeah, and I think that's it. Uh, yeah. So, does your family have a motto? No. If you were a ruler of your own country, what would be the first law you would introduce? I would introduce the law to ban all media, and then I would take no, no. Um, if I was the ruler of my own country. Honestly, I try to make the place fair, but also, like, you know, it needs to be profitable as well in some way or another. But I don't want to go too far down the route that we actually start getting called a dictatorship, you know. But the first law I would introduce into my own country would be that pineapple and pizza is banned. Uh, who was your favorite teacher in school and why? I can't mention his, mention his name, but literally go back a few questions. History and geography teacher. Like, probably one of my favorites. What three things do you think of uh, most each day? I think of uh, what am I going to do for YouTube, edit or record? Uh, I think of what am I going to do in games today? What am I going to like play? And what am I going to play on now? And I also think about um, like should I continue watching anime today or should I even bother? And yeah. Uh, if you had a warning label, what would yours say? Um, warning, little bitch. There we go. What song would you say best sums you up? Um, I don't think there is. It's just whatever. Like I, I know some people are like, oh, I go this Billy Eilish song. It really resonates with me. Uh, you know, just not. Nah. So I don't really have one. Uh, what celebrity would you like? To me at Starbucks for a cup of coffee. For a start, I don't. I'm not really into coffee. I'll try coffee again at some point. Just maybe soon. I've never been to a Starbucks either. But if I was to meet a celebrity, I guess Jack Black. Cause he he seems like a pretty energetic and cool guy. Like I'm not gonna lie. Like this is assuming we're talking about like actual celebrities, not internet personalities. Like there's a bit of a difference, you know. Uh, who is your first crush? I will not name, but I think I know them. Uh, what's the most interesting thing you can see out of your office or kitchen window? Uh, 
the sun. Because uh, Ireland's pretty fucking like shit with weather sometimes. And by the way, it's not office or kitchen, it's bedroom. On a scale of 1 to 10, how funny would you say you are? I'm obviously a 10. Like, if I'm not a 10, you know, like, that's just a lie, you know? Where do you see yourself in 10 years? Well, I'm already said I was in the ground in 5 years, so I guess I'm just sticking with that answer. Like, what was your first job? My first job. My first. Okay, not including YouTube. My first work experience job was in. Uh, Spar, Eurospar. And I was doing work experience there. That's it. If you could join any past or current music group, which would you like to join? Uh, the Beatles seem like a little fucking group to join. I'd love to try and help them produce their songs, like, not gonna lie. Um, yeah, no, that's it. How many languages do you speak? Uh, hello, Diagwitch, uh, Salut. Well, realistically, I can speak English. I'm kind of learning Irish again on Duolingo. I'm meant to be able to know French, but I can't really speak it anymore because I stopped going to school. Because, <laughs> you know, I kind of graduated from that. But, uh, yeah. So, technically, three. I'm trilingual. I'm James Murray. Uh, what is your favorite family holiday tradition? None. Who is the most intelligent person you know? Obviously, no, I'm, I'm sorry. I shouldn't keep saying myself. Because people are actually going to take that seriously. Uh, who is the most intelligent person you know? The most in person intelligent... Yeah, the most intelligent person... Well, obviously it's not me if I can't fucking read this. The most intelligent person I know. I'm not sure. Like, most of my friends are more intelligent than me. I'm not going to lie. So, like, I'd say majority of them. Uh, if you had to describe yourself as an animal, which one would it be? Uh, when I wake up in the morning, sloth. Uh, when I stay in my room... Uh, <sighs> I don't know, fucking orangutan, just big and just sloping, be like, computer, you know, that kind of thing. I don't know, there's not really, like, an animal that would describe me, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, what is the one thing you will never do again? I will, oh man, I definitely have had this kind of thing where I'm like, I'm never doing that again. I think, if anything, the one thing I'd never do again is, like, like, I'm still trying a few uh, alcoholic drinks. I say this now, how I'm like, oh, I'm not going to try this ever again, but realistically I will. So I'm just going to go with that. Like, that won't try, I don't know, I think, what is the cider? The different ciders? I don't know. But again, there's like different variations, so I could just try them another time, but whatever. <laughs> uh, who knows you best? I don't know if anybody knows me best. Like, honestly, nobody's that close to me anymore. Like... If anything, in the last two years, I've pretty much just been me. But, if it, if we're talking about people who have talked to me the most in recent times, it would probably have to be Tetzel J. I'd say Tetzel J knows me the most. I'm sorry, James. Y y you're on PC now. Right, uh, that's honestly all it. Uh, I was originally going to have a face cam for this, but I kind of just, I didn't bother. Like, I'm just going to blank it out so I can actually upload this. But, uh, yeah, uh, I got this idea from James Marriott. I just looked up uh, 100 questions, and I clicked on signupgenius.com. And, uh, yeah, it's on here. I'll probably leave the link down below anyway, just in case, if you guys want to take this quiz yourself. I know I didn't answer all of them, but, you know, it's close enough. <laughs> Should I just title this episode, like, The Night Flyer Podcast, 100 Questions, Getting to Know Yourself. Or get Getting to Know You Questions. There we go. Uh, but, yeah. If you guys enjoyed the video, obviously like it, dislike if you didn't like it, comment if you want, subscribe if you want, and hit the bell if you do so desire. I've been the Nightflyer taking the 100 questions quiz, and uh, yeah, have a good day.